Welcome back to another video, my name is Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. So today's video is all about the growth mindset versus the fixed mindset. What attributes a growth mindset has, what attributes a fixed mindset has, how you can figure out yourself and then make your way to a growth mindset. Because if you've got a growth mindset, you're gonna grow. If you've got a fixed mindset, you're gonna stay where you are. So the growth mindset. Actually, let's start with the fixed mindset. The fixed mindset is someone who may seem pessimistic. Now, this doesn't mean that you're wrong. This doesn't mean this is your fault. This could be, and 99% of the time is from pre-programming, from your environment, from your surroundings. If you're constantly told, that's not possible, that's never gonna happen, you're never gonna be able to achieve this, it's gonna be more of a percentage chance that you'll have a fixed mindset than you will have a growth mindset. Whereas if you've constantly had people around you saying, go for it, what's the worst that can happen? Take the chance, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter, you can always try again. You're more likely gonna have a growth mindset. So, a fixed mindset, like I said, it's someone who's a bit pessimistic, someone who sees opportunities or sees problems as problems. They don't see them as opportunities, they see them as problems. They don't see that there's a way out. They've constantly got the woe is me mentality at life and they just look at life in a chance of if there's it's glass half empty rather than glass half full. If there was a 20% chance that you could be a millionaire, would you take that chance? Would you take that risk? Now, there's probably more percentage of chance that it's possible for you to do that, especially in this day. But a lot of the time we can't visualize and see ourselves. When you gain clarity, this is where you can move to a growth mindset. And like I said, with fixed mindset, it's really all about being pessimistic, not taking opportunities, thinking that talent and skills, you're born with them. No one is born with talent, no one is born with skills. I do not believe that whatsoever, not at all. Now, people are naturally better at things because they started younger. There's not one person who was just born and picked up a, picked up a baseball bat and started hitting it and was really good at baseball. They still had to learn. When you start younger, admittedly, you pick things up quicker. That's why in a household, if there's kids in the house, the, both the parents speak different languages Obviously I speak one language as well, but they both speak another language. The kids can end up speaking three languages, whereas the other parent can't speak the other language. Why? Because they pick it up quicker. So if you've got kids, you want them to learn another language, you want them to learn sport, you want them to be good at sport, you want them to be uh, intellectual, let them, let them figure it out for themselves. Now, never force someone to do anything. If you've got kids, don't force them. Encourage them. Maybe they don't want to play baseball. Maybe they want to be the best chess player. If they want to be the best chess player, let them be the best chess player. If they want to be the best person at maths, let them be the best person at maths. Doesn't matter what they do. If they've got a growth mindset, they can become whatever they want to become. So, a growth mindset is someone who believes that problems that are in the way are opportunities in order to help. Now, problems are here to strengthen us. Strengthen us. <laughs> and when we've been strengthened, that's where we get rewarded. We get, we get problems in life then we get rewards in life. When you endure the pain long enough, literally going to the gym, you endure the pain long enough, you get the reward of muscles. Because you're lifting the heavy objects, you're enduring the pain, you're getting the, the outcome. If you endure the pain long enough in the business world, or even on YouTube, or on social media, being a singer, being an artist, a mu musician, you will eventually get the reward of succeeding in the field. Don't ask me how long it's going to take you. Everyone's different. Subconscious reprogramming speeds that up, admittedly, but everyone's different. Some people it might take one year, some people it might take 10 years. Now, myself, I'm not a very fast learner. And I could say, right, so I'm not going to learn what, I, I'm going through courses right now. I'm always going through courses. Right now I'm going through um, a neuro-linguistic programming course. I could say, it's all, it's all written. I haven't read a book in ages. I listen to audiobooks. That's how I prefer to learn. I could say, right, I'm not gonna do it, it's, it's, it's written work, I can't, I can't do that, I just can't do that. Or, the way that I looked at it was, this is probably good for me because I haven't read in so long, that it will pick up my ability again. It's perception, everything is a perception. And how you perceive something debates whether you have a growth mindset or a fixed mindset. So, ways that you can gain a growth mindset, 
if you are at a fixed mindset. If you're at a growth mindset already, it's just about capitalizing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger and better. Better and better and bigger and bigger and better and better and better and better and bigger and bigger. <laughs> so, if you've got a fixed mindset, things that you can do is gain clarity on who you are. If you're not good at maths, you have two choices. You can either choose something else that you are better in and focus on that, or go full force of it, focus on that and gain the skill. It might take longer for you to learn, but if you've got the work ethic to put in and you, you know that you're gonna do it regardless, you will get the outcome. You will get the outcome. This is, it literally is, it's the law of attraction. When you think something, you take action, you get it. If you think something, you don't take action, you don't get it, okay? <laughs> That's normal. So, whatever it is, if you really do struggle, now, I could say, I'm not, not gonna study that, I'm gonna study something else, but I want to learn that. So, will it take longer? Most likely than other people, yes. Do I care? No, I'm willing to do it, because I want to do it. When you make the sacrifice, what you're sacrificing, which would be time, energy, money, whatever it is, less than the outcome that you want, so the sacrifice, I'm willing to sacrifice this. Like, if I said to you right now, Give me two pounds, two pounds fifty, and you'll be, and I'll give you 190 million pounds. That was the Euro millions that was just gone on the lottery. But if someone's in that fixed mindset of, oh, I'd never win it, there's no chance, then they're never gonna invest that two pounds. It'll be a great investment, I can tell you that. They're never gonna be willing to invest that two pounds. Why? Because they're too scared, they're too pessimistic, they're not gonna see it. Like I said, if you are growth mindset, that's perfectly fine, it's perfectly normal. We all, a lot of people are grow, uh, fi fixed mindset, sorry. If you are fixed mindset, it's perfectly normal. I probably was fixed mindset, but I've always been like, what's the worst that can go wrong? What is the worst that can go wrong? Really ask yourself. So gain clarity on who you are. Gain clarity on your strengths, gain clarity on your weaknesses. Do you want to capitalize on your strengths, which means you can do more at a time, because if you're, if you're already slightly good at a few things, you have more chance of going at three different things at once and being able to succeed. But if there's one thing you're really struggling with, or let's say there's five things you're really struggling with, and you went for three of them at once, you'd really struggle because there's just too many things at once. You're learning too much. At the, uh, your mind just won't be able to compute it. Unless you're very intellectual, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not personally very intellectual. I'm pushing myself to become more intellectual. Is it happening? Slowly but surely. But is it happening? Yes, it's happening. Give me five years, I'll be very smart. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but you have the ability to do so if there's one thing that's really hard that you're struggling with or there's three things focus on one of them because too many things our brain can't compute now our brain can only it, it computes billions of bits of information a second but it narrows it down to things that are important if there's a car coming that's something that it will narrow it down to unless you're a kid and you've not, not learned that your mind won't be computing that but if there's a car coming you're, you're about to cross the road think of all of the things that are going on right then there could be other cars driving past. There could be someone walking out their drive. There could be different color stones on the floor. There could be, it could be raining. There could be a rainbow over there. There could be a tree falling down over there. There could be someone screaming in a drive in front of you. There could be someone ringing your phone. There could be um, something falling out your pocket. All those little things. Now, obviously there's many different things. There's trees, there's cars, there's different color stones. There's different, there's, there's the road, tar there's the tarmac, there's the road, there's the pavement, there's there's the white lines on the road, there's hundreds of cars, there's bees flying in the air, flies flying, but you don't compute the things that aren't, don't matter to you. When you start to compute the things that matter, that's when life gets easier because you understand, right, what matters? Okay, the hard things. Do I want to focus on that and do I want to improve? Yes or no? Sometimes, now I always say, do things in life that make you happy or the things that make you grow. Initially, these things over here won't make you happy. Long term, they will make you happy. Making that cold call, asking that person out on a date, speaking up in, in a meeting, speaking up in class, speaking to a friend about something and clearing things up. Initially, they might, they might not be something you want to do, but if you disregard them constantly, you're gonna constantly be in that mindset of, oh, just keep pushing them away, keep pushing them away. Eventually, they will come on top of you. Bam, splat. <laughs> But if you, if you use your, your, the growth mindset and you just say, right, I've got things to do. I've got things that I, I need to do. Am I going to do them? 
I'm gonna I'm gonna schedule it out. That's how I do it. I schedule my things out. Things that I really struggle, things that are easy, I don't need to schedule out as often. I can put a time in, but I don't need to schedule out and start writing about it. Like for example, the course I'm going through, I'm constantly writing about it. I've given myself two times out of the day to do so. Whereas this video, I just went and started it. I thought, right, I finished off my other work. I've got some time to fill. Let me make another video. So I made another video. It's very easy for me to do this now. Whereas at the start, I had to really think about it. I didn't think about this. The first video I saw that I, know, that I uh, thought of, Fixed and Growth Mindset, I saw a picture of it a few days ago, came to me and I thought, right, that's it, I'm going to go with that. I didn't have to think about it. It took me five minutes, set up the camera, perfectly fine. Now I'm back on it. <laughs> and it's easy. And then what I've got to do, I've got to edit it. It's very simple. But when I first started, I had to learn. It took me, when I first made my first video on YouTube, it literally took me, I think it took me three, no, it took me one week, three days to a week, I can't remember the exact time, don't, don't count on that. It took me three days to a week to actually finish it, to finish editing it. Now a video takes me maybe an hour to, do, to record, edit and even post. Whereas before, three days to a week. Why? Because I didn't understand it. I had to learn. You have to learn everything. You have to learn to talk. <laughs> how do you think you learned? How do you think you learned the alphabet? You didn't just one day think, right, that's it. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P, and start start computing it. It just doesn't happen. The way that you learn was by repetition. A B C. What's the next one? What's the next one? What's the next one? D. It just comes over time. The growth mindset really is being optimistic but not being delusional but definitely not being pessimistic optimism without delusion so is it if someone's done something in life is it possible that you can do that same thing Roger Bannister the four minute mile no one was believed it was possible to run a, a mile in four minutes when Roger Bannister did it that next year 40 I believe 40 other people did it the year after that school kids were doing it is it possible? Yes. Is it possible for me to go from no money at all to make a million pounds in one year in the next year? Yes, it is possible. It really is in this day. You've got to be able to compute it first and there's people that have done it. But if you don't have that mindset of it's possible, like for me right now, is it possible for me to go from what I'm doing right now to where I want to be? Why is it not possible? There's no reason. You listen to people's stories. Listen to Tony Robbins' story. I resonate with his story quite a lot. What's happened in his life, I can resonate with a lot of that. So especially hearing someone, and there's always people going for the same thing that you're going for, I guarantee you, a million percent. You went in a room, and you, ask some, you, you explain your story. I believe it's 5%. No, I think it's more than that. I think it's 20%. 20% 20 of people are going through very similar circumstances to what you're going through right now. And especially in financial terms, probably 90% of people are going through the same financial terms as you. So there's no excuses. Growth mindset does not make excuses. Fixed mindset, excuse, excuse, excuse. Can you make a video? Yeah, I could, but I haven't learned the words. I didn't know a topic to write about. I, uh, 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 excuse. <laughs> Growth mindset. Can you make a video? Yeah, what should I write about? Uh, let me give me a, give me a minute. Let me think about something. Okay, growth and fixed mindset. Perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> and you understand it, and then you think, right? What do I need to say? Growth and fixed mindset. What is a growth and fixed mindset, etc.? How can I explain it in terms? How can I relate it to myself? And that is it. Literally, what was going through my head. It's not easy, and you have to learn it. The more times you do it, then it becomes a habit. We live 95% of our life in subconscious, the habitual mind. So if you do it more and more. It, it creates a habit. When you create a habit, it becomes you. When you are you, you are being, you are just doing, you are a video creator. You are not someone who is going to create a video. You are a video creator. I am a video creator. I am someone who posts on Instagram and hopefully inspires my followers. <laughs> I am someone who has an entrepreneur mindset, who has a growth mindset and I would say I'm on my way to high performance for sure. Now, does that mean I'm hugely successful? It's coming. I, I'm, my life, this is, this is the way that I personally look at life. And if you can look at life in this way, I guarantee you it will serve you for the rest of your life. My life will go the way that I say. No matter what happens, my life will go the way that I say. I can't see my life going any other way to what I envision it. How I envision my life to go is how it will go. It might change slightly. I might get 
off over that way, off over that way, but I'm constantly going up. I'm never going to go down. I've been to my lowest low and I'm building back up. I'm building the foundations for my success. It takes time. Is it worth it? It will be. So comment down below. Have you got a growth mindset? Have you got a fixed mindset? If you've got a fixed mindset and you want help or if you've got a growth mindset and you want help, click in the link below. Go to maximillion.com with the 1111 in the middle. Enter your email and we can schedule a free call. And that's where I can help you go from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset, etc. Or just help you enhance your growth mindset. Now, let's do that. So scroll down, go down to the link, click it, enter your email address, and then we'll talk. So I hope this video has given you some insight. I hope this has really helped you. I hope this has helped you understand the growth and a fixed mindset. If it has, please like the video. If you know someone who could benefit from this video, please share this video with them. And I've really thought about it and I'm going to start uploading more to my YouTube because I went on, then I went back off and I'm starting to pick back up with it again. So have an amazing day. Keep smiling and spreading positivity.